unexpected, unexpected things come together on the river. Unexpected, unexpected things come together on the river. Unexpected things come together on the river. People are coming together in new ways to restore cleaner water, to bring back our salmon and steelhead runs, and to help local recreation economies by providing better fishing and kayaking. The power of a river is a pretty amazing thing. This dam, Marmot Dam, here on the Sandy River, was built about 100 years ago to supply hydropower to the outlying areas. Marmot Dam produces a pretty small amount of power, which can be replaced by renewable resources like wind. Today we're realizing the benefits and the power of a healthy river. The dam removal story is a story of hope, it's a story of healing, it's a story of resiliency. It's a really exciting time to be out here in this part of the country. You know, across the country, there have been several hundred dams that have been removed. We've been working on a dam on the White Salmon River, dams on the Elwha River that are scheduled for removal. Why is it important for the public to be involved? What happens is every 30 to 50 years, there's an opportunity for the public to reevaluate what the future for this river should be. And in the case of this river, uh, we came to the conclusion that the future should be as a free-flowing river. The artificial Roslyn Lake is going to go away, but instead they get a river access corridor to a wild river um, within 45 minutes driving distance of downtown Portland. The power gets replaced through a variety of methods. At this point, we're building a lot of wind power. We've been privileged to use this river for more than 100 years in service to our customers, and we really felt like we needed to leave something behind that we could be equally proud of. The settlement agreement was a very interesting process to participate in. There were close to 24 different groups with a lot of different perspectives. PGE's water right is going to be transferred to the state of Oregon. They're uh, transferring some of their lands to the Bureau of Land Management. There's a deer swimming across the river. <laughs> the dam removal on the Little Sandy and Marmot Dam, uh, it's going to open up between uh, 50 and 100 miles of, of spawning habitat. The more healthy the river is, the more fish we can bring back, uh, the more people that come to the river. The fish opportunities will enhance tourism in the area. One adult fish brings in up to $500 worth of tourism. The high profile aspect of the dam coming out will bring in more boaters. The real and tackle place in town that caters to fishermen, they're looking for forward to being able to supply the needs of those extra fishermen that may come in. I don't get in the river, I don't swim, kayak or fish, but I, but I enjoy the river. We lived in the neighborhood on the sandy. We started a uh, kayak business out of our garage. You get to be in a business where it matters how healthy rivers are. Healthy rivers and a healthy environment are really important to all businesses. Whether it's Hewlett Packard or a freight liner or a real estate agent, the people who work in those places were our customers. My grandfather on my dad's side worked on the Bull Run Project and we've got you know, family photos of him with the big pipelines and ancient caterpillars. When I was a kid, I would always hear grandfathers and uncles talking about how things used to be, and you know, things were always better and there were more fish. And I just remember thinking, well, why does it always have to get worse? You know, couldn't it get better? When Marmot Dam was put in, it changed a natural system. Moving forward involves looking back and bringing the best of what's already been working and I think we're catching on. <laughs> I think attitudes have changed a lot about what rivers should be. More and more people are becoming attuned to, to the entire river as a complete system. What's important here is what PGE's customers want, and they want us to be reflecting their values. I think Marmot Dam is, when it comes out, I mean, it's gonna help people see that, you know, you can actually fix something. 